Hello friends, welcome to another crafted watercolor lesson. My name is Chanda Craft and I'm a teaching artist in Alexandria, Minnesota. In case you're new, um, today we're going to do a watercolor planet. So we're going to have a space theme today. I have all of my supplies here, my paints, a spray bottle with water in it, brush, watercolor paper, a clean cup of water, and a paper towel in case I need it. To make our watercolor planet, I need to make a circle. And sometimes the easiest way to make a circle is to find something that you can trace. So I have a roll of tape. And you could also use something like a yogurt lid or some other plastic plastic lid would work fine too, or even the bottom of a cup. I'm going to put my planet maybe just a little bit off center. And I'm going to trace, maybe I'll trace on the inside. And that way we get a perfect circle. If you don't have anything to trace, you can just freehand it, and that's okay. To start, I want this to be really wet on the inside. So I'm going to use my spray bottle, a bit of spray right in the middle, and then start spreading that water around. And I don't want it to go outside the line. I want this to be really wet because we're going to be using that wet in wet technique that we talked about before. So I want this paint to spread really easily in here. I want the paper to be shiny when I look at it from the side. Okay. I'm going to have a red and orange planet to stand out from the dark background of space. So I'm going to start with some red. And I'm just going to start going right around the edge, maybe. Just let it play and dance through that water. My paints were already a little wet because I was using them for another project. If your paints are dry, you'll want to take your squirt bottle and make those wet. If you go outside the lines a little bit, that's okay because we're going to go back around the outside with dark and it'll probably cover it up. Now maybe you want to make your planet blue and green or purple. That's totally up to you. Come back with some more red over top of this to try to make some maybe some indication of like some clouds or something that's on this planet. You can see how those paints just want to they just like to blend right together through that water. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Now I got to think about this outside space. It's probably a good idea to let this dry before I go on though, because if I come around here with some dark paint, 
it's all going to bleed together and I don't want that to happen. So I'm actually going to pause here and come back in just a moment when this is dry. All right, my watercolor planet is dry. Now I need to think about what I want to have happening out here in space. And I think I want to have my planet maybe have a couple of moons and maybe there's even a shooting star. So I think I'm going to put a moon maybe right here. Now if you want to trace something that's round, that's about that size, you definitely can do that. Maybe even the lid would work to trace around that. I'm just going to freehand it. Maybe there's a moon there. Maybe there's another one. I think I have another one like right back here, a smaller one. Maybe I have a, a comet or something right in through here. And I'm going to just have kind of a, a roundish shape here, but I'm not going to really draw it in. As I'm just going to remember to leave this part white and let the color blend in around it. Let's see how it works. Okay. My paper wet. Spread this around. Get it started on our background. I'm gonna leave my moons white for now. Come back and paint those later. I'm trying to be pretty careful around my planet so that I don't get too much water on the planet. Same reason that we let it dry so that it doesn't have color flowing on top of it. All right, that's enough to get started. All right, well, I want my space color to be very dark. So I think I'm going to take some black and purple and blues, have them kind of all mingling out there together. Bring this wet and wet. Technique. Maybe it'll dry right there, turn it around again. Go over that a little bit. Some black. We don't know. This is a made up planet, so we don't know what's happening out there. It's our imagination. It could be anything we want it to be.
This background is going to take a lot of paint to be really be dark. It's one of the challenges with watercolors to get it to be really dark. We're just going to do the best we can. some blue in here now. Okay, my paper is getting quite a bit drier on this side where I have plan to do this comment, so I'm just going to give that a little mist. I'll go just around there, and it'll give that impression that it's glowing a little bit. Maybe we'll even put some yellow in there, make it look like it's on fire. dot right there and let that it's very wet right in there I'm just using straight paint and in that flow I like that. And then all we have left are these little moons. So maybe my moons are uh, maybe my moons are just kind of a gray. Maybe this there's like a sun somewhere shining on part of it. So I just wanted to have like maybe part of it is dark, and then I'm gonna just. Blend that so that one side is darker than the other side. Maybe this moon's going to be yellow right in here. One side darker. Well, there is our fun imaginary space scene with a watercolor planet. I hope you have fun making your planets and imagining worlds far, far away. Have a great day.